to use the people of Riza Maxia as a power source? The man is insane. Gilland most likely returned to Exodus HQ on the ocean. The Olympian army is with him, so getting there by boat won't be easy. Well then, perhaps we can commandeer one of the flying ships they have docked at Campbellar. Oh yeah, right. Because that sounds easy. It may indeed be our only option. Very well. We attack tomorrow. Wait a minute, Gaius. Aren't we gonna team up on this? I mean, we both want the same thing, so... It's not a social gathering. Just how stupid are you anyway? It was Maxwell who created the schism, and trapped us all inside of it in the first place. Imprisonment is not so easily forgiven. It's entirely possible. We may end up fighting each other again. I'm sure you can understand why we're not ready to get all buddy-buddy with you. Like I said, do what you want. Just make sure to stay out of our way. Can you believe it? The nerve of those guys! They must be shorthanded. Why else would they share that kind of information with us? Despite what they said, I still believe that they are counting on all of us. For now, at least. Perhaps this is the opportunity to speak to Wingle that I've been waiting for. You wander off again? Sorry to wake you, kid. You didn't. I can't sleep. So what happened with you today? What's with this sudden interrogation? You just have me worried, is all. Do you still want to go back home to Olympias? <sighs> Worry about your own problems, kid. Hmm? You want to protect Mila, right? No, she can protect herself. I just want to make sure she wins. I think that's the kind of help she needs most. Huh. So you want to stay with her forever, then? What? Alv... What are you talking about? You won't have any reason to stay with her once this is all over, you know. I know. If you don't tell her how you really feel, someone else will beat you to the punch. You can't just count on destiny to work everything out for you. Fate doesn't have your back. Yeah, I know. I just... Maybe I need more time. You really do listen to everything I say, don't you? Huh? 
Nighty night, kid. Can't sleep? No. <laughs> me neither. You don't want to ask me anything about what I revealed earlier today? No, no. You did the right thing. The just thing. At least I hope so. Justice is a complicated concept. It means different things to different people. And what is justice to you? <laughs> I thought this wasn't a social gathering. Answer me, Maxwell. It is the power of will that resides within one's heart. <laughs> in this, we are both in agreement. Those with this willpower bear a responsibility to this world. The strong must protect and guide the weak. Gaius, weakness isn't an affliction of the body, but of the heart. The world will always have weak-willed people, but that in itself isn't a bad thing. Then we must protect the weak until they can become strong. That is our duty. We? Yes. All who are strong must look after the weak. It is the only way to ensure that future generations will have sufficient strength as well. So that's your solution to the problem I posed in Fezabel Marsh. As I told you then, I can chart a new future for mankind, if I just have enough power. But if a man like Gillen takes the stage, a man who can only use power for his own gain, then mankind will be doomed to repeat the same mistakes. I see. But I'm afraid it's not up to me to approve your answer. Your concept of justice is your own. It's not my place to interfere. <laughs> As you say. The two of you sure are alike. How so? No matter how extreme her words are, I think there's always truth to them. I get the same sense from you. Do you want to be like Maxwell? I wouldn't mind it, although I know that's impossible. I see. We should probably get some rest. Yes. The showdown's tomorrow.